You just spend an arm and a leg to let somebody else rip the hair off of your hoo-ha. What's up? What's good? It's your girl Courtney B here and I'm back with yet another video. What's up? What's good you guys? My name is Courtney or you can call me B. If you guys are oldies but goodies for turning back to the channel for yet another video this week, then what's up girl? I'm happy to have you back. How you doing? How you been living? Here on my channel we specialize in all things beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and luxury. All while being on a budget, I personally do not believe you have to spend an arm, a leg, a toe, and a foot to look your best, feel luxe, and feel beautiful. And I try to do that in every single video. And this video, my loves, is no different. So if this is something you see yourself rocking with now and forever more, my darling, I highly suggest you hit the subscribe button down below and join the Beehive family. And yeah, if you guys have been rocking with me for a while, then you know all too well that this channel is a budget-based channel. I'm here to help you save your coin. But recently, I've only kind of been tailoring to the fashion side of things, even though my channel is about beauty, lifestyle and luxury and I kind of want to change that you know I kind of want to dip into my beauty side of things without being a OG YouTube beauty guru <laughs> if you guys do not know I did start on YouTube by being a beauty youtuber doing makeup and things but just in the past and I had left that in the past however some things that I've learned in my beauty guru days have continued to stay with me until now and one of those many things have been at home beauty routines, at home beauty maintenance rituals. I live for a good at home maintenance week. It allows me to spend time with myself, pamper myself, and ultimately helps me save hundreds of dollars a month. I know on YouTube and on social media period, a lot of the it girls love to get their waxes, their tapings, their wig installs, brow maintenance, lash extension appointments. And baby girl, those maintenance appointments add up, okay? Especially if you're one that has to keep up your maintenance between a week to two weeks. That bill can really begin to add up, sis. So in today's video, I'm happy to be sharing with you guys my low maintenance maintenance routine that has saved me hundreds maybe even thousands of dollars the maintenance routines in this video is not exclusively limited to um those who cannot afford the more higher maintenance appointments even though this will help if you guys are on a budget and cannot afford these things at the moment however this can be very useful for those that do not want to spend the money you may have the funds to spend 10 stacks right now on whatever you want but it may not just be very practical for you to spend an arm and a leg to let somebody else Rip the hair off of your hoo-ha. If any of these things apply to you and your life and your situation, then this video is for you. So before I ramble on for an extra 15 minutes in the intro, let's just jump right into this video. The first beauty treatment that I decided to start doing at home, it has changed the game forever, and it's about to change yours, okay? Number four is going to be doing your own eyelash extinctions, okay? Do them yourself, do them at home, the way you like them, you'll thank me later. It has changed the game forever and it's about to change yours, okay? I feel very passionate about this one because finding a lash tech was terrible. It was the worst of times, it was not a good time, it was not a good place in my life, and it was stressful. And no matter how much money I spent, no matter how many times I tried to do salon, Nothing was fitting my satisfaction and that was so frustrating. And baby girl, if you know, then you know, eyelash extensions are too expensive to be experimenting with, okay? Lash extensions can cost between $100 to maybe $300. With all the things that I use to do my lashes at home, I may spend under $40, maybe even less than that. The main thing I love about doing my lashes at home is that I can try different styles of myself without having to compromise me not liking them. And it also cuts down the time. And I've mastered this so well. I can do a full set on myself in under 30 minutes. Beauty maintenance treatment number two that I save hundreds of dollars on a month is applying my own wig, applying my own frontal unit, my own closure wigs. I bleach them, I apply them, reapply them, style them, you name it, I do it. Now with wigs already being an arm and a leg ranging between 100 to possibly four or maybe $500, having a frontal wig professionally installed will cost you some money. A big part of having a successful at home wig install is having clean, refreshed hair and lace. Without a clean base, it makes it hard for you to add on extra product to the hair during styling. And without a clean lace, it makes it hard to have a long lasting melted install. To prep and refresh my oily units for install, I use a smoothing and cleansing shampoo. And the shampoo I've been 
reaching for lately is the Amos Professionals Green Tea Shampoo Refresh. This shampoo is great for your natural hair. However, I love giving my luxury wigs the same amount of TLC that I would myself. This shampoo's green tea formula is great for cleansing the scalp and hair of heavy oils that can cause your hair to be stiff. The infused mint leaves and white leaf green tea leaves you with smooth strands of fresh scalp and helps kickstart hair growth. This formula is also silicone free, so you're ensured to have pure product penetration and not just a product mask on your hair. Unlike typical shampoos, this green tea formula didn't leave my unit feeling stripped and extra dry. This would then have me to overcompensate the hair with a heavy conditioner as well as a hair mask. This process is all about being low maintenance. So when caring for my wigs, I tried to go the minimal yet effective route. Amos Professionals did leave my hair feeling smooth and silky, and it honestly felt as if I had used a co-wash on the hair, which allowed me to skip conditioning the hair, and that is always a plus when it comes to a lazy wash day. When it comes to cleansing the wig's lace, this shampoo also hits all of the spots. I coat the entire frontal and scrub gently with either a baby hairbrush or a wash rag or even a toothbrush. And then you watch all of the makeup and gel build up be sloughed off. Another the way I like to remove lace buildup is to fill your sink with hot water, pour in the shampoo, and allow it to soak. After about 15 to 30 minutes, the buildup pretty much just melts away. So if you guys are looking for a new shampoo to try for your next wash day, I will leave the link to this one down below. And I would also like to give a big heartfelt thank you to Amos Professionals for sponsoring this portion of the video. Beauty treatment number three that I save hundreds of dollars on a month. Removing the hair from my own, you know, my situation down here. Whether you are a girl that likes to get waxes or laser hair removal, those things cost money. I've never gotten a wax besides my eyebrows, so I don't know how much that really costs, but a rough scale that I've looked up on Google says that it can run you between 50 and $100. So what I do instead of spending money on getting waxed, your girl shaves, okay? This may be controversial to some, some may be against it, some may be for it, but I've always been a shave girl. Um, I used to be able to use Nair, um, Nair does not break me out or do my skin bad. However, it's very messy. It's messy and the crap stinks, okay? No matter how many scents you think you can pick up and try, they all smell like poop. It may say roses on the bottle, but Outcast says it smells like boo-boo and that's what it does, okay? It smells like pure... <laughs> So if you're not sensitive to those chemicals in there, I can suggest Nair. But currently and for the longest of times, I have been using just plain razors, Dollar Tree razors, and a few drugstore products to get everything nice and smooth. Listen, don't sleep on the tree. If y'all know, then y'all know. Those little pink Dollar Tree razors, they come in clutch, okay? They do the thing. Number four is going to be doing my own eyebrows. And that's going to include shaping them up and tinting them. This beauty treatment probably has to be the only one that has taken me the longest to master simply because it's a razor to my face. If you guys don't have that much trust in yourself and you are a little bit scared to use a razor on your face, I suggest you guys continue to go to your brow lady. But if you guys are willing to try something new like I was, I highly suggest you guys trying to shape up or even wax your own eyebrows. Shaping and tinting my brows combined takes me in total, I would say no more than 15 minutes. I first coat my brows with my face wash, kind of like a base so that I'm just not scraping against dry skin. And then I shape my girls to look like sisters and not twins, and it depends on if I'm having a shaky day. Sometimes they come out looking like cousins. The tinting kit I use is the Ardell Brow Tint in Soft Black. I mix the developer and tint together as it says in the directions, and I wait about 10 minutes, and then I'm done. Before I moved over here, I was getting brow tints very regularly. Since I was addicted to how my brows looked after each treatment, I would get them at least two to three times a month, and that would add up. I will leave all the things that I use to tint my brows and shake my brows down below. Beauty treatment number five is going to be doing my own nails and my own pedicures. This is the beauty treatment that I enjoy the most. Simply because this is what I spend the most money on. I am a nail salon junkie, specifically a pedicure. I take great pride in my feet. I would pay that happily. I would not moan, groan, complain, baby. These dogs got to get touched. These are a couple of things I use for my basic French pedicures at home. Y'all, my bad for the scrub looking busted and disgusted. I literally let this thing live in the shower with me. Now, besides everything you guys see here, I do have other tools that I use as well for my at-home pedicures, but these are just pretty much the basic essentials that I think you would need in my opinion. 
plus a white polish for your French tip that I forgot to add in this clip. All of my polishes are from Dollar Tree, so that shows you just what type of time your girl is on, okay? After experimenting with a few products to do my own toes, this is the best thing I've done in a long time. And yeah, you guys, that is the end of today's video. Now, if you guys love your high maintenance beauty routines and that works for you, by all means, don't listen to me, girl. Do your thing, okay? Do what works for you, what works for you and your lifestyle. I always tell y'all, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But there is also always more than one way to skin a cat. So if you guys are in a business to save a little bit more money when it comes to your beauty maintenance routines, this video is here for you. If you guys enjoyed watching just as much as I enjoyed sharing, please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. And of course, hit the subscribe button down below. Please consider hitting that subscribe button down below and joining the Beehive family, the Beehive gang, because we are the lit over here and we are never bougie, okay? And as always, my lovelies, I thank you guys so, so, so much for coming to watch me. But until next time, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.